Okay, so in this tutorial we're going to take a look at the female external genitalia. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate this model so we're looking at an inferior view of the external female genitalia. So the way that I'm going to explain the anatomy of this area is through a diagram. So looking at the same view, I'm going to talk you through some of the anatomical features of the female external genitalia. So posteriorly, we've got the anus. Anterior to that, we've got the vaginal orifice. And at the front, most anteriorly, we've got the urethral orifice. So the urethral orifice and the vaginal orifice are surrounded by two thin folds of skin called the labia minora. So I've just drawn these folds on here. So the singular of labia minora is labia minus. So these are also known as the inner lips or the inner labia. So labia just means lips in Latin. So then you've got the outer lips, which are called the labia majora. So the labia majora run from the mons pubis, which is a layer of adipose tissue which lies over the pubic symphysis to the perineum posteriorly, where they're connected by the posterior commissure. So you've got this depression posteriorly. So anterior to the urethral orifice, you've got the glans clitoris, and the labia minora form folds around the glans clitoris. So at the anterior end of the labia minora, they bifurcate to surround the glans clitoris. So this bifurcation produces two folds. You've got a lateral and a medial fold. So anteriorly, the lateral folds meet in front of the clitoris and they form what is known as the hood of the clitoris or the prepuce. The medial folds, however, join together and attach to the posterior aspect of the glans clitoris to form the frenulum. So the body of the clitoris extends forward anteriorly from the glans clitoris and it's deep to the prepuce. So it's underneath the hood. So posteriorly the labia minora join together to form the fourchette. So the area actually surrounded by the labia minora containing the urethral orifice and the vaginal orifice is known as the vestibule. So the vaginal orifice is surrounded by a thin membrane called the hymen. So in young girls this actually completely covers the orifice but you get rupture of this, this fold of membrane, the hymen, with first sexual intercourse or through other mechanisms such as injury. So after perforation of this hymen you get remnants of the membrane which surround the vaginal orifice. So the vaginal orifice is also known as the introitus. So also within the vestibule you've got the opening of two glands. So on either side of the urethral orifice you've got the opening of the paraurethral glands and then slightly posteriorly and laterally to the vaginal orifice you've got two glands which open called the greater vestibular glands. So these glands are also called Bartholin's glands and they secrete mucus to lubricate the vagina. So hopefully that's given you a good overview of some of the key features of the female external genitalia.